Hello, I'm Daniel. In the amateur radio world, known as KE7UUM. Hope you enjoy the video. Here it is. It's, uh, I think it was about 14 inches off the ground. About 14 inches, the bottom of that's off the ground. Um, I only put it off the ground simply because the coax comes right off the bottom. And from there up to the top, it's 22 and a half feet. <laughs> yes, I am a redneck and I don't care. Look at that. Zip ties, hose clamps, and more zip ties. Um, I wish I knew more about end connectors. I know this is not right. I've asked some friends. I've looked at pictures of end connectors. I was going to leave with the end connector on and just, I have an adapter coming from Amazon. I was going to leave it on, but it looks like because of that, and I have never put an end connector on. I know there, I, a lot of people have said in videos, they seem to be similar. I'm not going to mess with that though, because I have very limited coax. I can put a PL259 on there and use a barrel connector. I don't really want to. PL259 slice UHF connector. We've got about a five mile an hour wind, I think. I don't know. But can you see the peak of this? Sorry, and the arthritis. I don't know if I can bring the camera around. See that? Yeah, hopefully. I have some road signs, road sign stands, um, this orange one, and as I was cutting the zip ties, I'll post pictures of how I had it on there. Um, I thought I had it, but I didn't. It came back and not only did it scuff up a brand new shirt, <laughs> the things we do to get on the air, I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm totally excited. Um, as a buddy of mine here locally says, I'm going to dominate MERS. <laughs> That's not necessarily my intent, but I I like radio. Um, I'm a ham operator. I enjoy ham radio. I also enjoy every other radio service. I believe there is a time and a place. I'm kind of not so much on... FRS, but even then, um, you know, when you're at a campground and you let your kid go off, it's, um, it's not too bad. Anyways, hey, uh, and Sean, if you watch this, um, my, uh, my friend from MeWe, um, I've actually got two more. They're not orange, but yeah. Um, I, uh, I don't, I don't know how the people acquired them that I got them, but I was told that they were auctioned off from the work, a work, a work crew and they took and, um, I bought a couple, um, and I think they're great for emergencies. Um, this antenna was just enough, had just enough weight behind it that that spring wouldn't go up. But, you know, as you can see is my shoulder. <laughs> Once you take the weight off, it springs into action. Um, well, I guess time to go dig for a PL259 and a barrel connector and uh, get on the air. I can't wait. Okay, y'all. Have a wonderful day.
So, this is inside the house, or it's um, 50 feet of coax from the antenna about to, uh, to my MFJ here. And remember, I'm setting this antenna up for MERS, which is 151. Um, and there's the two meter band, hand band. And if I had to, I would talk there. I wouldn't do it just because though. So as I go up here, look at that. Okay, now the impedance drops down. Look at that. 150. It's at 1.7. 1.8 maybe. It's under 2. And then look at this. 151.2 is X equals 0. That's pretty dang good. 151.82 equals 6. Yeah, it's okay. And 154.2 Ah, sometimes I forget the merge frequencies. I'm sorry, the arthritis in my left hand is hurting today. And so, well, I'm having a hard time holding my phone still. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Kind of a little off. Quite a bit off, actually. Am I remember right? Oh, yeah, it drops back. Uh, let's see, 161. SWRs are high there. I wouldn't talk there, but... Anyways, there you go. Now time to uh, put this on my, um, you know, MERS radio that only puts out two watts. <clears throat> uh, Rebel radio, I guess, is what people are going to start calling me. 